The people behind me are fighting for an end to mass incarceration in the Mississippi State prison system. They say it's not only harming their lives, but their family members and loved ones as well. It's hard because they need a father figure and he was there with them every day. Catangela Davis, a mother of two young girls, gets emotional thinking about her fiance, Carl Wallace. Davis says Wallace is serving 30 years without parole for possession charges. Like you have murderers that they let, it's over there. You have murderers and everything that they let walk free or they out for so many years or they do five years and he got 30 years for his first time ever having a charge of that nature. Davis is in Smith Park with the advocacy group Mississippi Dreams Prisoner Family Support. Amanda Hamilton, the director of the group, says stories like Davis's are common and policies like mandatory minimums and life without parole are areas she'd like to see reform. Well, I believe we have 80 something children serving life without parole as juveniles that started out as juveniles. Um, I believe there's only two states in the United States that have uh, life without parole and we're one of them. Benny Ivy represents someone who beat the odds, having grown up addicted to drugs and spending years in jail. He has turned his life around, now standing up for inmates who he believes need treatment versus punishment. Locking people up and throwing away the key does not rehabilitate, it does not help people. So there needs to be alternatives in place. The Mississippi Dreams Prisoner Family Support Group is also advocating for safer and healthier environments in prisons like Parchman, where two inmates died earlier this week. Reporting in Jackson, Jewel Hillary, 16 WAPT News. <laughs> 